Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, man. We got a special uh person out the city, man. A special pillar out of H Town, Texas today, man. J Dog. Uh, man, I ran into you probably like a year or so ago, we was at a show that you had on the north side in Greens Point, and I pulled up to a spot, man, you rocked the crowd and everything, and we was supposed to get an interview in, but I ain't had a uh, the SD card in the camera, and I was like, it was gonna be turned up too, because you was this coming off. I asked you, I said, man, let's get an interview, and you say, nigga, you ready right now? Like that, you wasn't doing no high side or nothing, man, and um, no. for the people that don't know, like, you really probably one of the most we got to be one of the most respected rappers out of Houston, just with the authenticity, the hits, the street classics, just a lot of people might not be hip globally, but the ones who don't do know, man. So J Dog, man, you gotta tell them for the people that don't know, my following and supporters, you know, where you from and everything like that. North side of Houston, Texas, Acres Home. For sure. For God sure. City the Bricks. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Nah, and that's like on the northwest side, man. Yeah, northwest of uh, Houston. I came up probably about a 10 to 15 minute drive from there, you know, with the lights and everything combined right in Greens Point, man. But we always been hearing about the bricks since kids. And then I remember I finally drove by them homes one day. They really like some little, a little legendary location over there. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. A lot of things that happen in them bricks, man. Yeah. If them bricks could talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now, nah, man, coming up over there for you, man, what was it like, uh, you know, as, as a youngin' over there? Because I know you started doing the music real early on as a kid, but just coming outside of your day-to-day, because -day, I done did interviews over there in the bricks, believe it or not. You probably ain't seen it, but I done been over there for video shoots and interviews and all, man. But, you know, what it was like on the day-to-day -day coming up over there? Program, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, uh, you know, it's it, it's real, it's real, real hood. It's the projects, yeah. you know. So it's a lot of love, you know what I mean. But it, it, it's it's most definitely programmed, you know what I mean. Yeah. So you know, we grew up with a different kind of structure, you know what I mean. But it was it was structure. Yeah. 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 And sure. it was a blessing, you know. The bricks is a stepping stone, you know what I mean. Most of most of our parents, when they came to the bricks, they was only using it for a stepping stone to, you know what I mean, get on their shit and you know move on the better. So you know, the bricks is really a blessing, you know, for us, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. So you always put on for the bricks. Did you stay somewhere else before you moved to the bricks? Or that was where you was like, came out the wound then? Yeah, like came out the wound. It was Trinity Garden, Weaver Road. Okay, got you. Where I was born at, yeah. yeah. As a baby, in the bricks. And then he was over there in the bricks on the come up, man. Yeah. And then y'all always had a legendary high school on the north. But I remember at first you were saying you had went to Aldean. Yeah. But Ike was right behind y'all there. I, I ended up going out. Ike for a little while too. Okay. You know, I went to both. But our Dean is crazy. God City, the bricks, we get sent to Greens Point, you know, when Ike is really walking distance. Yeah, right around the block. Really understood it, but yeah. Yeah, we are with the all Dean. Yeah. Most yeah. of us. Gotcha, gotcha. Y'all always put on for Gulf Bank, man. Yeah. So like uh, you know, coming up on Gulf Bank, that street right there. Y'all stamp that. The whole when you got in the Swisher House and everything like that made it spread throughout the north and the whole city. When you was coming up on Gulf Bank, that street right there, just paint a picture for them of what Gulf Bank was to you as a kid coming up. It was our it was our way on Gulf Bank. Like, you know, we was young and our OGs, like I say, it's program. Our OGs didn't do a lot of playing, you know, so uh, you know, we wanted to do in them bricks, you know, they didn't play it. You know what I mean? It was some of them that could, you know, if you get caught skipping school, it was a problem, you know, and everything was, you know, so on Gulf Bank, we was able to do what we want to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So down there, that's where we end up, you know, making our corner. You know what I mean? What, what we wanted to, you know what I mean? Our block, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, you know, a bunch of the homies that was from, you know, kids growing up on Gulf Bank, and we was young, we was already connected, so shit down there, they, the young came with us, you know what I mean? You know, Hollywood click, you know what I mean? That's what we called it. Yeah. 
You know, we felt like we was young stars, you know what I mean? Rock stars, you know, slanging them rocks. Sure. You know, so Gun Bang was more like something that we could say we, yeah. we, we, we doing, you know what I mean? Right. And the OGs had theirs, you know? Got you, got you. I never really knew it when it broke down like that, like, but yeah. I remember seeing like... I'm talking about, now keep yeah. in mind, I'm yeah. talking about the beginning of it. Okay, got you. The beginning of the whole, the movement of it from the name on down, you know, so... Uh, somebody else, you know, from that you might have a different story. It depends on whatever. Gotcha. I'm talking about just the beginning of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, hustling in, 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 in the hood, in the bricks where it's programming the OGs, you know, got that structure. You know, you got to, them licks don't go to them. They ain't going to come to no young nigga. They going, so we damn near had to shortcut every lick, you know what I mean, to get some money. We had to stand out there and tell the dope, hey, this dope, this OG dope, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And lie. Yeah. <laughs> and you get caught doing that, you know what I mean? It's consequences. So, you know, now I know on Gun Bang, we was able to let our nuts hang a little more. And, and, and you know, we was able to, you know, have have something that we can call our own more for, as far as a block of dope cone and something we created. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure, man. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, coming up right off the of Gun Bang, man, and having the Hollywood click and things like that, because that just transpired to something else for people in Houston that know about it. They gonna know about it. That was like a whole just click or just... It still is. Okay. It's, 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 it's not, if not, you know, a new era. And it, and they are more, you know, it's the mob, Hollywood mob, you know what I mean? It's a new era. And you know, you know, that's how it go when, 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 when you got real G shit going on, it's gonna always be picked and all that it's gonna always be level. Yeah. So now it's they era and they they the ones holding it down and they you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah and I remember seeing a while back like on the internet too man, even with you like you just say like you was just the type of a kid that you just stayed in some shit at times. Like you wasn't really like going to school much at times. Yeah, yeah. So you was like, man, I'm all over the place with it. No, I'm a dope. Yeah. Shit, I don't know now that nigga that was. Nah, 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 for sure, man. But that's just that lifestyle, the environment, and the picture for the people who are on the outside. When you pull up on their block, it's just like sets of project apartments right there. And you're going to see niggas outside. You go around the corner up the street, you're going to see niggas outside. Side on Gulf Bank and shit, things let like tell, that. Let me let me up on the trap, right? Yeah. Peep this trap. If you stand in the front of my hood, right? If you stand in, at the at the at the sign, Guard City in West Montgomery. If you look far left, it's gonna be a funeral home. You look far right. It's a whole jail. <laughs> we ain't got to go downtown. You know what I mean? Yeah. A whole jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and the book book you right place. there, and you'll be locked up right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, the setup. You know what I mean? For sure. It's the setup, you know, but it's the project. You know what I mean? For sure. For it, sure. it was all a project anyway. You know what I mean? You know? For sure. For sure. That seemed to motivate, motivate us around that bit. Yeah. So man, you know, this was the early uh not, probably mid nineties to the you know, you coming up over there, then the late nineties, you started getting into rap with Swisher Highs, but you was already rapping in like elementary of like middle school. Me huh? and Lamario. Yeah, you and Lamario had the group together. Ghetto delinquents. Ghetto delinquents, man. And that came from the big homie putting that together. Yeah, well, we we had our own, we had it together. The big homie yeah. came in with the structure. You okay, know what I mean? gotcha. Yeah, that's how it is in the projects. Why I say it's a lot of love. Yeah. If we playing football out there, it's gonna always be one of them OG come in and be the all time quarterback. Okay. You know what I mean, he gonna come in and be the structure, yeah. whatever you doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know it ain't number single mothers over there. See where we from. You don't even qualify for an apartment if you got a mama and daddy together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you don't qualify. You for know what sure. I mean? You don't sure. get that's, it. That's that structure and that system that we talk about a lot on the channel, man. They don't, they don't be wanting to hear me that that's a real thing. I'm glad you said that. That redlining and that damn systematic oppression, man. But that's another that's discussion. The way it is. That's what it was. That's a real thing. This that's is somebody, reality. this is somebody who is a product of that. Yeah. Well, hey, you don't qualify in these projects. It Ace time if your pops is there at the highs. It don't, you don't qualify. For sure. Ain't number stepdaddies and, and, and once a year, sometimes more than, than once, they, they do a sweep through that bitch and everybody, all these stepdaddies go to jail for trespass. That's cool. You know what I mean? Whoever out there, you go to jail if you ain't on the lease. 
Yeah. Now I mean, and they do that shit once, twice a year. Now I mean, yeah. everybody out there go to jail for good, and our stepdaddies go. Know what I mean? For sure, for sure, Crazy. man. That's some real shit. That's real life, man.